Okay, this is a little quick overview of uh, how this virtual box works. As you can see, I am in Windows 7 right now. Uh, you can see the icons, uh, Windows XP icons. Now this is going to be real simple for you. Uh, we're going to go up here to this little right here. It's called uh, WinXP for AutoCAD. This is what I've called it. It's going to launch our virtual box. It's going to boot up Windows. Now we don't have to boot up Windows every time, but I'm starting from scratch because I did a shutdown on the Windows XP side. So as you'll see, here we are, Windows XP, we're up that quick. Now I'm going to go to launch AutoCAD. Here's our start from scratch window. Okay. I'm going to just hit OK, take defaults. I'm going to do a circle, pick my center point. I'm going to say diameter, and we'll say five. And there's our circle. Um, everything is running. I'm trying to get this thing to come up, but with the backlighting, it's not showing up here, but we've got all of our buttons and everything here and here and all of our menus. So everything in AutoCAD is running. Um, now, up here, if I click up here, you'll see this pop-down window right there. And this pop-down window, it's got different settings, but the main thing we're going to worry about is like the X, where we're going to exit out of it. Now, here it gives us three options. Sorry, let's see if I can get There we go. Uh, save the machine state, shut down uh, signal, and power off the machine. But power off the machine is just like pulling the plug. Shut down is just like doing the shutdown on Windows XP machine. It'll actually shut it down and we'll go right back to our Windows 7. But I'm gonna do save the machine state. This is probably gonna what you're gonna use the most because what this will do is it'll save everything that you're doing. I'm gonna leave AutoCAD running with our drawing and everything up. I'm gonna say okay. Boom, we're back. We're back to, it just shut down Windows XP just that quick, we're back to Windows 7. Now, from Windows 7, when we get ready to go back, I just launch the AutoCAD again, and we're back. We're right back to our drawing and everything. I can minimize AutoCAD. As you see, Windows XP is fully functional, running. I'll go down here to start. I'm going to go to my computer. Uh, just like anything else. Now, there's a little one thing different. See this little map drive right here? Anything that you save to this E drive will be available to Windows 7 as well. So if you have an application in Windows 7 that you want to be able to open up that uh, drawing file or export file, anything you put in here will be available over on Windows 7 in your My Documents. This is our CD drive, and there's your C drive. C drive, as you see right now, it says total of 10 gigabytes. That will expand. As, it, as you start to fill it up, it will automatically grow. And then you've got your regular documents folders and everything just like you do in XP. Um, as you can see, we can go to start. We can go to internet. And here's like MSN. Everything is a fully functional version of XP. Anything that you do in XP, you can do in this XP. Close this. Of course, we still have our AutoCAD drawing here. I'm going to just minimize that. I'm going to say shut down. Again, save the machine state. Hit OK. There it goes. Everything that you were doing has not been lost. It's still in a saved state. So when we get ready, we can launch it again. As you see, it restores it. There it is. Bring back up our drawing. There it is. Now, I can do a close. No, I don't want to save my drawing. Now, a couple ways you can do it. You can go back up here to the X and close out. Or we can even go to start. And we're going to go here to turn off the computer. I'm going to say turn off. Now, it's not going to turn off your computer. It's just going to completely log out of Windows XP. And once that's done, we're right back to Windows 7 again. That's it.